Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game. Today I'm playing the demo for Crime O'Clock. I actually don't entirely know how this game works. I know it's a hidden object game and that it's like a detective thing. So you, you have to play around these different areas and find clues and things. Hello detective, I am Eve, your new AI crime solving partner. I am able to see past and future events by accessing the time flow, our view virtual recreation of the true timeline. Like, this is a layer of the story and things I didn't even know was here. You get to focus on the not-so-simple mathematics of crimes. Are we going, like, full precog here? You'll find the clues, chase the leads, all that dramatic detective stuff. And you see, there are people with the ability to alter the time flow with motives that are, let's say, questionable? When that happens, we might detect a crime that was never supposed to happen. Our task is to find these anomalies and restore the correct course of history. Well, between you and me, I know you're new to this, I am too, so we're in the same boat. Let's be sure we do a good job. We'll work together, we'll look after each other. In order to learn the basics, we'll begin with a simulation. Press play when you're ready. The 2015, the information age. I, I think that's, that's all I'm going to be able to do, so we'll just get right into <laughs> that. I, I like the simplistic um, art style, the apartment in pink. Let's review the fundamentals so that we can prepare you for your final test. It's time to show you me your skills of deduction, detective. I've recreated a short criminal case inspired by a true story archived in my database. Don't worry though, I'll follow you step by step. It's quite a large area actually. A lot of things just flashed pink. Here's our case. A mysterious thief broke into a fashion model's loft and stole one of her famous jewels. So, thief broke into fashion model's loft, stole jewels. Presumably I can review that at some point, but I just want to try and lock it in. There's a catch though. According to the true timeline, the crime hasn't happened. So our task is to preserve the integrity of the time flow. To do that, we have to learn exactly what happened and find the right order of events. We can't interfere with the past, so we have to be sure our actions won't create further paradoxes. This is a... I did not expect this layer of things. The first step in any investigation is to find the crime scene. Zoom in to get a closer look at the map and observe the details better. Uh, okay, so it, it kind of automatically zoomed me to that location. Perfect. The best way to find a clue is to zoom in. Mm, is he... He's not, like, holding a gun or anything. He's just, like, sketching and she's just freaking out. Now, we have to select an element and let the system verify it. If it is actually a clue, it will be highlighted. To select an element, press and hold until the system answers. Right now, though, we need to find the victim, our fashion model. Can you find her? I'm going to guess that's her, because she's the one who's kind of upset about things. We got the victim, and it's pointing at the location, I presume? Great job, detective. Here's our model. As you can see, she's reporting the theft to a police officer. If you look closely, we can usually find more clues. She's pointing somewhere, probably towards her apartment. Let's see if we can find it. Remember to observe things carefully. We can guess directions and trajectories by assembling the details. Try to follow an imaginary line from the model's arm. It will lead you to her apartment. Here's one last thing, detective, only for this case to help you focus on the right area. I'm highlighting the zone where the case takes place. So she's... the, the zone. Okay, that this is what we're calling the zone. She's pointing at her apartment here, so let me uh, inspect that. I don't know why that area is highlighted. Oh, well, th there's where things have been broken into. So, the, the the door there is also smashed. Burgled. There it is. Everything has been turned upside down and the door is broken. Unfortunately, the thief is gone. It will be almost impossible to locate a thief we know nothing about, especially amid a crowd. Thankfully, my mainframe lets us examine the case from different points in time. These points are called ticks, and they're frozen, fixed moments in time. It isn't ideal, but a collection of ticks is our only way to experience the past. Let's go back one tick and look for more information. So, yeah, I did see we started on five, so you can go in either direction there, forward or back. Done! Now we've gone back in time. I guess that's the o'clock part of Crime O'Clock. 
As you can see, the whole map has changed. Moving back and forth, it's possible to observe the movements and actions of the city's inhabitants. For example, the model's apartment is still intact. The thief hasn't entered it yet. Let's take a look. The thief is bound to be nearby. That is literally right there. <laughs> Climbing across the roof. And is it a cat burglar? It has like a cat tail on it. Suspect. Good find. Well, maybe I was a bit too didactic in creating the simulation, but you have to admit our suspect has everything. A dark jumpsuit, a balaclava, and a crowbar. This definitely isn't a heating technician. Let's move forward in time and see if he's really our thief. Remember, we have to be 110% sure of our theories before we take any action to restore the timeline. So we're going past five? No, just we're, we're regular amount. The tick was recorded right after the jewel was stolen. See if a, our not a heating technician is close by. Pay attention though, sometimes characters change their clothes or appearance between ticks, especially if they're about to do something sp suspicious. So keeping an eye out for the tail is probably going to be important. Uh, and I'm being told to like keep a focus on this area. Oh, maybe everyone. Is everyone cats? Not everyone, but there are a lot of cats. So if you smashed out of the building, Oh, was that also tracing, was that tracing the line bef between them? Okay, so these occurred in tick number five. So it went from this to a burglary and a victim. Uh, if you broke through there, I mean, it's telling me he wouldn't be outside of that range, right? Like, this guy's like getting, I don't know, barked at by his dog. He's just happy with his cute hat. Um, this game is incredible. I don't have to play any more than the five minutes I have to determine that. There he is. He's sprinting away. Right? <laughs> so he changed his outfit slightly. He changed. He changed. Yeah. Found him. He's leaving the crime scene and he's taken off his balaclava. Clever. Yeah, you don't think you want to run around with that. That'd be, that would be would give you up pretty easily, I think. I just, there you can see the different things that changed. Like that guy walking around the corner of the car. I don't know how many unique crime scenes there are in this game, but the amount of detail that would have to go into changing the environment with each step forward, cool. Very cool. Keep following are definitely not a heating technician. So we're, we're going forward to six now. You can interact with me at any time. If there's a light bulb icon, I have a hint to give. Let's keep following the suspect. I pull, pull the tab. He's running down the avenue next to the canal. I don't want to be using these hints, but I think the tutorial the tutorial wants me to use the hints. Uh, so there we, we got him again. He's being shifty and he's all sweaty and nervous. And he's still holding the loot bag. Where is he going? He's walking towards the water course, but what for? So all, all those people who have changed now too and moved away. Uh, and new, new people have arrived. We need to continue the hunt for our suspect. Often, the solution to an investigation involves chases and surveillance duties. What would I have to do there? Okay, so now now he got distracted. He's just... He gave the crown to this rat? <laughs> That's how he it pawned it off? The gift of love. Here is our thief. Have you seen him? He's holding the loot. The stolen jewel? He's given it to a giant rat? Maybe this detail was a bit different in the original story, but that doesn't matter. AI has the right to some creative freedom after all. Okay, so we don't actually know. Now that we've got him red-handed, we can be sure that he's our culprit. Send a report back in time to the local police and have him arrested. To them, it will appear just like a message on one of their terminals. They won't have a clue about our involvement. We couldn't prevent the crime, but we restored the correct course of history. Where was the course of history derailed? I missed that part. Like, it seems like that was the only path through things, is that she got robbed and he got away with it. Just remember this, we aren't basic police officers. Our job is not to prevent crimes and save the innocent. Instead, our task is to protect the true timeline. So we're not even trying to capture this guy? Solved. Wow, that's, n I guess that is how long I took. <laughs> Great job, detective. Now for your, for the final test. I've read that so poorly. <laughs> uh, still the same year, if that is what that means. 
Detective, congratulations. You're now a fully fledged operative agent. I suggest that you relax a bit. Disturbances in the true timeline are extremely ru Oh no. Alert, new Nexus event detected. Detective, I'm afraid your relaxing is over. A new Nexus event is corrupting the true timeline. Well, that didn't take long at all, did it? Are we still, we're still in the same location. Oh, I think, I think that's what I'm seeing here. And that's clever of the developers. Because if you're going to make an environment this large and create all these moving parts for 10 different ticks of time, and then the crime is down here, then all of that is being wasted. So to revisit the same location, if that's what I'm seeing here, then that that's smart. What is a Nexus event? Alas, there's no time to explain. It's bad, really bad. Imagine life as you know it stopping instantaneously, and an entire age of your history collapses. We have to act swiftly. Detective, let's -a go. Well then, uh, so that's presumably the f first thing, or is that the... I I'll just hit play. I won't interact with the house at all. That seems simpler. A red blood stained band. So the microphone, like a, a musician band. Detective, pay attention because now we mean business. This is a real case, not a simulation. Something terrible is happening. My quantum scanners have picked up a very strange signal. Records of crimes that were never supposed to happen are somehow forming within my database. We have to act. Oh, that's a good question, Detective. Why crimes, you ask? Well, altering the course of history through violence and deception is by far the easiest way because time tends to correct itself when it's given a chance. However, it's pretty hard to fix something when your key actor is out of the picture or worse. Well, enough with the explanations. Let's go. Based on my readings, I can say we have a murder. The victim should be somewhere on the castle grounds. So this is a different... No, it is the same location. It is, because that's the, the broken part of things there. We're moving ahead to take eight. Yeah, okay, so I do, I do get to control where we're zooming in. Um, so this guy looks angry. Well, he, he's burglaring someone and is being filmed and he's about to fall in that manhole if I'm if I'm looking at that correctly. Um, we have <laughs> we have Rick Sanchez in like a and Morty. Okay, that's Morty as well. Like a Rick and Morty thing going on there. I actually didn't expect to see uh, like references and things. That's pretty funny. He's a little nervous looking. People are, are seemingly like running from something here. He looks quite shocked. Oh, the, the band, the band on the stage here. So the, the a light fixture or something fell and everyone's just freaking out. Does anyone here look like they aren't surprised? Does anyone seem like they knew it was happening? Maybe they're hiding up top. Well, I'll just highlight the victim and we'll go from there. Ouch! <laughs> Axel Blood. There's the victim beneath the fallen spotlight. Axel Blood. Lead singer of the Blood Axels. He shouldn't have died on this day. Also, the Pizza Incident. Their next album will be a worldwide success. There are some absolute bangers on it. So, let's get to work saving Axel. Have you noticed, Detective? I've installed a language pack that lets me speak as a true denizen of the information age. It'll be fun. Back to our investigation. Something must have cut the cord and caused the spotlight to fall, but what? Let's look around and see if we can find any misplaced sharp object. In this tick though, uh, it doesn't indicate that I should move back ticks. There's a, a, like a watch, a pocket watch up there for some reason. I guess all these things on screen, they seem in the way, well there's an arrow, but I, I guess they must specifically be placed in a way that are not going to interfere. Ah, a bolt! Are you familiar with this ancient murder weapon? It was fired from a ranged weapon called crossbow. The tech was very clever for its time. Let's rewind time and look for the one who shot the bolt. So presumably we can kind of get a sense of the direction it would have come from and out in the crowd here. Before proceeding, because I have a feeling that to solve this case, We'll need to keep track of many notions. Give me a second. Done. I've installed a new tool, the case journal. Which, okay, okay. Um, this is everything he's been saying so far. Yeah, okay, so I can just go back and read through what, I, what I've been told from the AI. So we're in number seven right now. 
Uh, everyone's still partying, having a good time. This guy is getting spat on or hit with like a tomato or something. <laughs> Some sort of like argument taking place there. I don't know, a safari man and there's hats to put on. Is that supposed to be like the dead mouse hat? Is that what that one would be? I don't know what like most of those are. Uh, there. The, uh, well, uh, okay, crossbow. And <laughs> there's an entire ar archery range here. So this seems like it was an accident. Why are you crying over your hot dogs? Are, are Rick and Morty? Yeah, they're they're back a step. They're popping out of the portal back back in that step. <gasps> Is that Club Penguin? <laughs> the the references in this are kind of hilarious. Is that John Wick with his dog? Is that is that what that's supposed to be? Is that like am I assuming too much there? Very funny. Just combing around all of this and looking at uh, looking out for references are is hilarious. Okay, so crossbow dude here not not the archer because there was also the archer that's cool drawing that out for you that's our possible suspect he has a crossbow in his hands at a point just before axel was murdered he's oz bones a former member of the band officially he left the blood axles due to artistic differences but there was gossip about fights over royalties on record sales. Let's follow Oz to study his movements in the moments after the murder. To n we need to know whether he's linked to Axel's death. So right now he's just a guy who has a crossbow. <laughs> we don't necessarily know, like if he if he runs away, if he flees, or or anything suspicious. I can't like move those out of the way, can I? I can. You absolutely can. Uh, so let me just assume, assume that those are not getting in the way. There's a, there's a way out of the castle grounds. There, he's ditching his outfit. W well, yeah, not incorrect. I, this is important. This is an important detail. He abandoned his clothing. Like, don't tell me that's no good. Well, there, there he is. But like, the clothes was also an important find, was it not? Undressed. Really, he really shed everything on that. So go forward another step. Where are you running off to, Oz Bones? Uh, presumably, he'll kind of just carry on this direction. What do you look like? He's he's just a bald dome and a big old beard. And we have some sort of like gumshoe detective going around doing his own thing over there. Uh, there she is up there, like just stressed over the crime, but like. That that this is after she even reported it to the police, isn't it? It's kind of interesting to see another crime like intersecting this one. I find that quite enjoyable to look over. Ah, he stole the hat off of this guy to go hide here. Keanu, if that is who you are, you threw a banana for the dog to run after. Is that what I'm seeing, man? There, I, I don't understand that at all. He's hidden in the marching band, which is crossing the street, and he's no longer carrying the crossbow. Yep, this is suspicious. If we find the crossbow, we can analyze it by comparing the grooves impressed on the bolt and those left by the crossbow drum. That way, we can determine whether it's the murder weapon. So you're, like, analyzing, like, bullets coming out of a gun. I don't know if you can do that with the crossbow, but sure. It's an advanced AI. We need to find out where Oz hid the weapon. So here's an interesting thing. We we have the two, like, destinations. So we know we had to have ditched it somewhere in between there. Just kind of familiarizing myself with the crossbow. Look at all these turtles. And, and okay, so we have the Ninja Turtles with uh, Rafa. Not a, um... <laughs> what, what the hell is their... Splinter. <laughs> the amount of, like, random stuff going on around this town is phenomenal very funny i'm so in love with this game in such a short amount of time um the, he didn't ditch the crossbow like in the crowd here or something presumably he wouldn't have had time to go anywhere else he didn't like shove it i don't know down someone's pants or something here if I highlight the guy, okay, I just wanted to check that and see if that was anything. There's like a security camera there that I don't think helps. Is that supposed to be like worms, like a banana bomb? I, I don't, I don't know why that would be. Also, is this Jesus? 
Can we see what's in your bag there, sir? Perhaps you're holding something important. Why is there a key above her door? I didn't even notice that before. Okay, draw draw that back up for me. So, in the sewer, did you chuck it down the sewer? Um, presumably it's it's gonna be in sight, right? Like it, it's not just gonna be I like I'm not gonna have to push something out of the way. I I don't know what news this guy got, but the little freak out he's having there is just kind of funny. He had he still had the crossbow then, so it's somewhere in between there. Taken pride in your van. Good for you, looking after your belongings. Uh, he didn't. He doesn't look like he chucked it up on the roof, or like through a window or something. Did he kind of? Did he like shove them out of the way? Is that what's going on there? He kind of blew past them. The dress, the shoe store. This dog's just eating some. I don't know baguettes or something. I feel like I'm incorrect in the range I should be looking. I, it's, I guess the fact that everything is gray and white makes it a little tricky. I thought maybe it would be shoved in one of these bushes. Or one of these bushes. There's a few bushes. It's just like a spray can. <laughs> this is just, what are you doing? Oh, oh, because this is what I saw earlier. Uh, in, in... I th maybe, maybe even in that, when I was solving that case or whatever, this guy stole the the bag. The Ninja Turtles are helping, and presumably he's just tracking this precise crime, I guess? It's just funny. It's funny trying to fill in the narratives that these developers clearly put, like, a fair amount of time into, like, mapping them out and crafting these, like, layered interactions. The Rick and Morty are over here all of a sudden with a club penguin thing and there's like a tentacle reaching out to grab them. Uh, so you could just, you could just push time forward and backward and just follow random characters around to see what they've been up to. Which is so fun. Is that like a cooking mama thing potentially? We got a PD piranha up there. Now I'm just looking around. Uh, what, what, th this guy's like throwing something. There's a monkey up here? Well, maybe you are not John Wick then. I don't know what your deal is. Uh, looks like there's like more than one of those guys. This knight, a uh, king on his steed. All these pigeons everywhere. I'm just enjoying taking in the scenery. Back, back to trying to find this guy's damn crossbow. What did you possibly do with it, man? Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not looking far enough around things. So, these are the two locations. He actually ditched it up here in the back of this truck. So, I needed to be looking a little bit further outside of the range there. Are we consider that, considering that a complete timeline? Whoa, macro detail scanner subroutine loaded correctly. Let's compare the grooves impressed on the arrow found at the crime scene with those left by the crossbow's drum. If they coincide, we'll have our murder weapon. What the heck? Analyze the crossbow. Macro detail scanner. So I, I just have to get these things lined up? That, well... What are we calling the grooves? What is the important part here that we're trying to line up? That's okay. That's all together. That's all together. Hmm. I, I I can get these lined up, but then okay, there we go. There there I've got something matched up. Open. So we've analyzed that. The murder weapon. There's no doubt it's the murder weapon. That was kind of cool to go out of it and back in like that. So Oz Bones is the culprit. However, detective, remember that our goal isn't to arrest. Oh crap, I skipped that. In this case, it pro provides that Axel survives and that Oz isn't charged with such a major crime. A partial deviation can be reabsorbed by the time stream, but a substantial one cannot. I don't know about the whole fixing the timeline and things. I think they could have just done it where you are going through the timeline to solve a crime. I don't know about the whole timeline thing. I feel kind of disengaged from that. And I don't really understand or, or care. <laughs> but it's fine. 
Let's reconstruct Axel's day to find out why Oz wanted to kill him so blatantly. Then we can figure out how to prevent the crime. Like, can, can it just be that you don't want the crime to occur? Rather than making it, like, some whole thing about the, the, the timeline, it just feels unnecessary to me. But maybe it'll matter more in other cases. So those three are marked because we have found things in them previously. Uh, we we kind of have to start quite broadly then. I will assume he, he didn't start in the in the castle. Like presumably he had to start somewhere and then make his way to the the gig, you know. I, I can also look back at that line I accidentally skipped. Reabsorbed. I forget which one I missed. We'll have our murder weapon. Whatever I missed there, it's there somewhere. Where to find Axel, though? Oh, wait. That, that was just showing me the, the tracing of the murder weapon. What What's your deal, man? What do you look like? I, well, I guess there's, there's like, posters of him and things all over, so... Uh, presumably I'm looking for that cross and those glasses that are flipped up a little bit and kind of some like bunny ears was he hanging out uh, is there like a tour van that I could be looking for Axel Blood that's just a regular cat they're like cat people whoa okay you're getting harassed well that's the guy though that's him what is what is this, this is the, the drummer for the band there's the Ninja Turtles again what are you doing to him? Leave him alone. Is that is that so necessary? No wonder he was in a bad mood and got up to no, to no good. <laughs> As if he didn't just commit a uh, straight murder. Oh, 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 oh. Um oh god. I like I don't Einstein's the obvious answer, but that that seems very much like a, a recognizable figure. But I'm hesitating with that one. There's several of these guys who I'm calling John Wick. Are you just eating fish out of a bag? Maybe it's not quite what it is, but it would kind of make sense for like a cat. Could be. It'd be kind of funny. Suspicious looking flamingo there. Oh, it, you're checking out that flamingo's butt, I think. Less suspicious. More kind of just horny is what I'm seeing. Are they, they playing rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to ride the elephant. Absolutely. <laughs> There's so many little narratives. See, there's another one of those guys with another one of those little dogs. Little Cupid's butt sticking out. Uh, these remind me of the two, like, cranky old men from, like, the Muppets. But I, I doubt that's what that's supposed to be. So many of them look like real people, but I can't actually, like, identify them all. Here we go. There's a whole, like, paparazzi thing going on. Taking photos with fans. Celebrity routine. Oh man, okay, so I have a starting point, but like, presumably we'll have moved quite a bit. Keep following Axel. Uh, do you kind of, are you kind of just making your way towards the gig? Is that quite reasonable to assume? Uh, I don't know what bonked that guy, what disturbed his day. Maybe, maybe, uh, Axel, there's the marching band. The marching band is starting all the way back here. Um, just cleaning up their shop. Maybe Axel went along here. Gonna go, like, check out cafes and things. Is that who the, the burglary crime is going to get reported to? Uh, th there's there's Rick and Morty again. I've, I've followed them a lot here. Is this someone, like, making this game? <laughs> I feel like it's probably meant to be something like that. Uh, see, he's all pissed off and angry down here. He's just having a bad time. Maybe that'll be a separate thing, is tracing that, and I'll, I'll know where to start. Um, hmm. I don't really know what Axel looks like from behind. No, I, I guess I know he doesn't have a mohawk. He's just stopping to read his book. That's what I was going to go, or f that I caught a glimpse of earlier. My, my Einstein character. <laughs> There's the Ninja Turtles again. Oh, um, hmm. That there's like security involved there. So it seemed believable that maybe he had got, come here already? How much time do I spend digging around? Uh, a little 
collection of friends. I don't think they are anything. Ooh, what about on this rooftop? That looks familiar. There, 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 there. So what is uh, upset at something that a, a mail you received? There's Axel. While the rest of the band was at the restaurant for breakfast, Axel was off to the side texting. He seems particularly upset. Who is he writing to? Well, is Bones over there also texting him? We have to get our hands on his phone so we can read those messages, but we can only do it when Axel doesn't have it in hand. In fact, this is one of the precautions we'll have to take so we don't inadvertently interfere with the space-time flow. So, next step forward, find out where he went and where he ditched his phone? Okay, so he started from there, went up to here for breakfast. Uh, there's very little reason he would have stuck around here, so maybe he uh, straight up went back downstairs? Just an artsy guy taking photos, <laughs> and a scouting a location there, like a director. There's that detective who's just very, very intense. There's Bones again. I'm having a very easy time tracking Bones. Oz Bones. That was his name, right? Oz Bones? Um, there's that couple. He's giving him a wedgie. Oh no, it's like the guard. That guy, it did look like he was trying to sneak into there. So I think the guard grabbed him and is tossing him out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that character is like a reference. Are they, they just on like a tour? I think probably. Oh no, he dropped his thing. That's really unfortunate, guy. I'm sorry to see that. Sorry that happened to you. Mm, seems too early for Axel to have gone to the gig. If that was only just breakfast, they're, they're like buying hats to look like the members of the band, I think. Uh, more archery. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're going for a joy ride together. Now he's looking very happy, and he has like an iPad or something. They're rocking. So the the phone is like in hand though, if that is the phone. What there there's like that line being traced out from the three. No, maybe that was not. Maybe that wasn't what I was seeing. So does that mean did you go uh, for like a sound check? Yeah, I think that's what's happening. It looks like some of the band is on the stage. They're preparing, taking a selfie. Yeah, so Axel's back here. Phone is right there. There it is. I'll connect to the operating system of that piece of technology, antique, technological antique, so that I can extract the information we need. So I'll zoom back out and go into like tech analysis mode again. Macro detail scanner subroutine loaded correctly. First, we need to unlock the phone in order to access the data stored in it. To do that, we'll need to reproduce Axel's fingerprint. How do we go about that? Oh, oh, there's the thing on the bottom. The red on the bottom is what you're trying to match with. I thought you were just trying to match the things with themselves. That was much simpler. I was hoping the puzzle would be different. That it would not just be the matching three thing each time. Ha ha! It's just as we suspected. The rumors were right. Oz was kicked out of the band. Out of the band is due to economic issues related to song copyrights. The last messages are full of threats. The threats are sent uh, are an act of felony. Why are you giving yourself up like that, man? I'm going to kill you. And then you go and kill him? You're going to get caught. <laughs> if we can link him to the messages, we can have him arrested for a crime less serious than murder. That should be enough to restore the true timeline. Okay, I guess that's like a thing, because you have to... Uh, whatever, the timeline thing, I guess I get it. I can get on board. From the messages Axel received, we can extract the IP address and triangulate. Well, I'll spare you the technicalities. In simple terms, we can trace Oz's location. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I already know where he was at. Extract the data. Well, I, 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 I gotta do that again. So that was just incorrect. I know that it was. Do I just have to click when it lines up or something? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I just have that amount of time to click? It's not that I have to, like, nail it? Okay, well, I guess that worked. Disposed. Oh, no. We traced the phone, but Oz has already disposed it. We have to go back in time to when the phone was still in his hands. Easy peasy. Uh, two back. I don't entirely, I don't know necessarily. 
He started out over here getting yelled at by that drum monster or whatever. There he is. I already knew. I already knew. Threatening. That's the angry message. Bingo. Oz is walking and texting on the same at the same time, which was then one of the major causes of death. That isn't our issue, though. The important thing is that he was using his phone. Now we can link him to the threats Axel received and alert the police who can arrest him and charge him. That way we'll prevent Axel's murder and simultaneously get Oz a lighter sentence than one for murder would be. Great job, detective. We've solved our first real case. We should celebrate. Solved. It took it took quite a while. <laughs> the different cases in this are, are detailed. Detailed to say the least. And I potentially haven't solved everything that's going on in this singular location, let alone the other locations in this game. Hey, wait, but what? I'm getting some weird interference in the flow of space-time. It's as if something is distorted. We need to check this. It could be a malfunction in my system, or it could be something worse. The distortions in the time flow seem related to Oz Bones? Is that a coincidence? Well, coincidences are our worst enemy, and this has to be connected to the murder. Find Oz Bones. So we're going back again. Well, that's easy. <laughs> He's railing a, a triangle directly in his face there. Intruder! There's Oz, but what? Have you seen it too? Are my sensors acting funny? There's a person next to him, an intruder who seems to come from, well, from outside the time flow. I can't stabilize the image because it disappeared when my system tried to pull information from it. However, traces of this inversion remain in the time flow. Watch Oz carefully. The anger he feels isn't natural. It must have been caused by the intruder. These are all the questions that we absolutely must answer. However, first we must, we have to file the case and go back to the main screen of our system. There we can continue this discussion. Oh, and I'll get rid of the stupid language pack. We won't have more time for jokes, I'm afraid. For now, well done, detective. And so we will have our another reason to go back to the setting. That was unsettling. I have no record of a similar entity in my database. We're facing something completely new, so I'm afraid this will be a long, complex mystery to solve. Let me install a little upgrade. Rage done! I added the details about the strange happenings surrounding the last case on the board. We still can't grasp the nature of that mysterious figure, but at least we have some understanding of what his powers are. I suggest that we call him Rage for the meantime. So we, have, we know a little bit about Rage. Alert! A new Nexus event detected. Okay, now an explanation is in order, and we went back in time. Under normal circumstances, the true timeline is naturally resilient and can adjust itself if minor or rare changes occur. But if too many quantum alterations were to happen in a very small time frame, well, history could break apart. These concentrations of changes to the time, true timeline are called Nexus events. It is our duty to stabilize them before it's too late. We need to identify and revert any alteration made to the proper course of history. We have to do it now. So that we would we would immediately be able to jump back into that. Or go back here? No, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it. But I, I I'm honestly just uh, surprised that I have yet another case that I could do in what is just a demo. It's a very lengthy demo to offer up another opportunity to continue like exploring things. Uh, it's cool that you're going, you literally travel through time and you have to do this through different periods of time. That's a good excuse for them to add lots of variety to the different locations. The game seems to be stopping to interrupt me quite often with the inputs from the AI character, but maybe that will ease off as you advance in the game. But it doesn't disrupt it too much. They, they have a story here, and then you still have your time to hop around and like inspect the timeline and sort things out. I think I would have enjoyed it as much, if not more, with a little bit more freedom to just inspect and try and figure it out myself without constantly being guided. So I'll be, I would be curious to see how much that backs off. Guys, Crime O'Clock, I'll have links down below if you want to go wishlist it, which I recommend you do, because it's a cool-ass game and, like, a phenomenally interesting direction to take the hidden object genre. Like, probably the coolest hidden object game I've played before. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.